Hail to the Redskins! Hail victory! Braves on the warpath! Fight for old DC! Captain's Log, Hail Date 9-22. 2018. Rescue Nation, we have got a task ahead of us tomorrow. And when I say a task, I mean that madman Aaron Rodgers is coming into FedEx Field tomorrow. And he's trying to do some damage. That's right, that man is trying to do some damage tomorrow at our house. Hold, hold, hold on for a second. Hello? Huh? They took over Clarendon Grill, about a thousand of them. Say it ain't so. About a thousand Green Bay Packer fans. Are... Let me get back with you. Did you hear that, Redskin Nation? They have taken over Clarendon Grill with about a thousand Green Bay Packer fans. And guess what? Guess what? It's all because of you. That's right. You selling your tickets. You having a so-so attitude about the team. You not wanting to come and sit in the rain. That's right. You. I'm talking to you. If you if, and if any of those things fit under your the narrative, then you are the problem. I don't want to go sit in the rain. I'm going to sell my ticket. I'm a, uh, You just don't know. I got two hours or more to drive. I, I, I got, then ladies, then ladies and gentlemen, you are the problem. Now, I don't get paid by the team, unbeknownst of some of what you guys think. I'm there because I'm a diehard and I bleed burgundy and gold. That's right. I bleed burgundy and gold. I'm going to be there tomorrow because I want to be there. I told you guys from the beginning, 16 and 0 or 0 and 16, I'm going to be there. Now, what did we witness on Thursday night? Thursday night, we witnessed the Browns with an almost sold out stadium. How many days did, it, did they have before they won a game? 600 and something. I can't remember what it was. But that's what the that's what it was. And they showed up and they showed out. But oh no, not the flaky redskin fans. We don't want to sit in the cold. We don't want to sit in a little bit of rain. Or if they even say it might be raining. Let me go ahead and get rid of this ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't have it both ways. How often do we hear, oh, I'm so mad at them for coming and invading our stadium. They just took over our stadium, and that, I hate that when it happens. But did you sell your ticket? Did you give your ticket to a Green Bay Packers fan? Did you? Well, then I don't want to hear it. Take back your stadium. Take it back. I told you guys from the, the beginning, a single fan means nothing. But do we really hail? Do we hail? I hail. Do you hail? Now, I realize that there are levels of fanship. You got your quasi. You got your good weather friends. Good weather, weather fans. And you got your diehards. Where are you? I'm a diehard. And when I say it runs through my veins, that's because it runs through my veins. Ain't no half step in here. I told you guys a long time ago before I had a trademark. Rep it hard or don't rep it at all. And a lot of y'all ain't repping it at all. Y'all say y'all fans, but will come up with any excuse 
not to come to your stadium and then had the, as Stephen A. Smith says, the unmitigated gall to say, why did all those Packers fans or why did all those Colts fans come to our stadium? Well, they came because you didn't want to. And we've heard that FedEx is trash. It's a dump. It's this, it's that. But guess what? It's our dump. It starts with you. I know the team hasn't looked good. I know they haven't. But have the Browns, have the Browns, but they still there repping that Brown loud and proud. At least we had a 79 season. At least. And we get this quasi, well, I've been a fan since. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They said they're going to do what? They're going to what? They're going to blow us out. Boy, I tell you what, if that don't make you upset, I don't know what else is. Like I said, if that don't make you upset, then you are not a true Redskin fan. And I'm calling you out, whoever it may be. I'm not calling no names because names don't matter. What they say, don't tell me, show me. I'm going to be there tomorrow. Will you be there tomorrow? I need you there tomorrow. Yeah, they said it's going to rain. And it's also going to get cold in a few months. What's going to be the next excuse? Well, the team ain't playing too. So what? So what? All these last seven months, all we've heard was, I can't wait for football to come back. I can't wait. Well, football is back. It makes no sense. Man, I got to sit in traffic for two hours just to get into the stadium. That's what it's about. It's all a part of the process. We well, you know it's going to take time to get into the stadium. You know it's going to take time to leave the stadium. And guess what? If the team loses, they lose. Somebody got to win and somebody's got to lose. And guess what? We even see... Somebody's got a tie. I don't want a tie. I've had one of those in London. I've had a tie in London. You see it. Wembley Stadium, UK. We had a tie. Did I like it? No. It's a part of the process. I've been a fan since who knows how long. Since, since, since Jack Griffin Stadium. And I just don't want to spend my money no more. Well, then don't bitch about it. You ain't got to. But don't talk bad if you don't show up. Don't do it. As I said, I'm not on the payroll. But I'm a diehard burgundy and gold. That's what the captain is. So I need y'all to come out tomorrow. Because once again... It means nothing without the 12th man. And that's you and that's me. We need to take back our stadium. Tickets are low as $60. Matter of fact, they're lower than $60. There's no excuse. You don't want to drive? Catch the Metro and walk. Metro ain't number what? $8? $10? Catch the Metro. Get you a ticket. Show up and show out. Otherwise, don't say anything. What your mama always tell you, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Well, that's where I am with this. We only into the third game of the season, ladies and gentlemen. The third game. And yeah, I know, I know. They dropped that L pill on us last week. I didn't like it. And we was all, huh, ha, ha, we, we, we gonna do some things. It didn't happen. I told you guys on paper, yes, we look better than the Colts. But paper doesn't play the game. Players do. Jay Gruden, get your boys ready. 
Coach Minuski, get your boys ready. Matter of fact, I got to tell you something. Gold Star goes out to the facilities at FedEx Field last week. Facilities did an excellent job from changing that whole stadium around. And if you haven't been there, you need to get there. Gold Star goes to the defense. The defense kept us in that game. They did. Bronze Star goes to the offense. We know the offense didn't put it up. Alex Smith, if you're watching, my man, if the receiver ain't open and he looks like he might come open, throw the ball anyway. Throw the ball anyway, bruh. That's what we as fans need to see. We paid you a lot of money. You're going to be here. You're going to be here, cuz. Throw that ball up there to get the receivers a chance. Because guess what? If the receivers don't feel you're going to throw the ball to them, they're not going to go 100%. And that's just life. It is. Throw it up there, bro. I'm one of your biggest fans. Throw it up there and let them go get it. And, if, and guess what? If, you, if by chance you throw a pick, the fans may not like it, but we will understand it. We will understand. Hey, throwing a pick is a part of the game, but at least you went down the field with it. More than five yards. More than ten yards. And guess what? Sometimes an interception is just as good as a punt on fourth down. My true football fans know exactly what I'm talking about. You can throw the ball down the field 30 yards and it's almost like a punt. We will accept it. We may not like it, but we will accept it because we saw that you tried. And that's what we want. We want you to try. We want you to show us. Show us. That's what we want. And maybe you will get the results that you want. Offense, do your job. Defense, do your job. Twelfth man, we're going to do our job. We're going to show up and we're going to show out. I'm going to be loud and I'm going to be proud. I'm going to bring my A-game. Will you bring your A-game? The time has come. Play it out until that last whistle. Play it out. That's what we need. That's what we want. Rep it hard or don't rep it at all. R.I.P. Sean Taylor. Chief Z. My brother Tony. R.I.P. Hail to the Redskins. Captain out.